This might be easier to demonstrate now the signal's got louder. Um, I've just been listening for shortwave broadcasts and wondering when I spotted using CW. Well, the frequency seems so far off, I'm wondering whether it's on my end or their end. So, I was looking for standard frequencies. The radio 4 long wave is too low, low for the KX3. KX3 stops just above 300 kilohertz. But here's the WWV transmitter in America at 10 megahertz. And we can see that CWT here thinks, thinks I'm okay. If I use the spot function, now there's actually some variation in spot. It seems to choose things slightly different each time. If I manually tune off, we see that it tracks. And if I was had a stereo set up, it'd be quite. This is quite nice on this. Is that I'd hear it go left to right in my earphones. But if I turn off CWT and try to move the radio out of shot, the spot function is really very clever. And so here we are. So now we're mixing the received signal with the transmitted, the generated spot signal. And if I come up towards frequency, we should hear the beat frequency drop. There it is. And that's about right. And that's incredibly accurate. So as I go high, so it seems at the moment I try and count it about 0 0.3 parts per million out, which is very impressive. And I think perfectly happy then with the accuracy of this radio. But it's an interesting demonstration of using beat frequencies to find things.